welcome back after a week kind of spring break to Dallas Warner. We get on episode five. We got free agency, all the stuff that happened throughout the week, and we will be covering it all, all of the best I can. If I have not not been a kill over every single thing, I'm sorry, I'm trying the best I can. Now let's go all over on all, and all out. Starting off, we got the Broncos that make a fat trade by gathering Russell Wilson and trading away. First round pick, Shelby Harris. I'm no offense. I mean, they traded a lot to get to get Russell Wilson. Hey, you needed a quarterback. Hey, all right. They go. Hey, hey, go. hey, let Russ cook in Denver. He will. I mean, hey, well, hey, who says they can't go to a Super Bowl? Well, I mean, hey, just well, make see, sure. I have a question for you. Who do you think won that trade? I like to say, yeesh, that's kind of a tough one. If the Broncos can make go to the playoffs and, go, and almost go to the Super Bowl, then they actually have, then they might have actually won the trade. Well, they can pull up a Matthew Stafford type of deal and say, okay, Matthew Stafford got the trade and he actually uh, went to the Super Bowl. Now, if the Broncos fail to make the playoffs again, then I'm just going to say that the, um, the Seahawks definitely won the trade by just getting some good stuff. Maybe. Now, let's move on to another quarterback. $200 million for four years for Aaron Rodgers and his oh. And, yeah, that is pretty big. That's pretty big, too. That's huge. I mean, hey, we're going on four years, 200 mil, even though Devontae Adams is, go is going to say, yes, I am gone. And, uh, uh, okay, yeah, first and a second to Vegas. Hey, Raiders, let's see if you can make this receiver more happier than Antonio Brown. Don't want to bring up uh, some memories, huh, Raider fans? Okay, now we'll move on to another quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky, uh, to the Steelers. Oh. I mean, hey. How do you feel about that? Mitchell Trubisky. I mean, uh, I mean, this is a very weak quarterback class, so we'll just move straight on. You know what? I actually want to go to just Sean Watson. They said they needed an adult at quarterback. Um, I'm concerned about that considering it's Cleveland. But, uh, hey, you gave a three first round picks for my Houston Texans. So, um, sure, I won't judge. Now let's move on to another statement. Let's go over to some other teams. Jacksonville Jaguars decided to go go ahead and actually actually care about the quarterback. Bring in Brandon Sheriff for Hassan Lucon. All that good stuff. I say Jaguars are actually caring about Trevor Lawrence for once. They actually care about about uh, pro producing a good quarterback in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, like yeah this is gonna be the, for the first time in a long time, eh, Jacksonville? Yeah. Um, let's move on. You know what? I have a lot more to say, but hey, Von Miller getting a six-year deal was well. It's actually a four-year deal if you put in a lot because you got four years. I'm not gonna get into that, but let's just move on to some others. Um, yeah, Tom, um, Jesus Christ 2.0 Brady is coming back. Why do I say Jesus Christ 2.0? Because he's, Tom Brady's literally the second coming before Jesus Christ does his second coming. So, um, okay. Thank you, Brady, for going to make the NFL miserable and bow, bow down to you in, in every which way. Thank you very much, Tom. Now, we'll move on to another one as well. Another, fa another big news, big news all around. That. That's, oh my god, uh, I, 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 I actually forgot what to say, I actually forgot, no, 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 Matty Ice is going to the Indianapolis Colts, oh. one of the big news came up, I was actually about to finish doing this po podcast in the middle of it, but when I actually went to go scramble for my notebook that had all my info on it, somebody told me that Matty Ice went to Indy, oh so hey, god. you know what, I was hoping for a cold, colder city like Minnesota yeah. if they did not give uh, Kirk Cousins a one year deal because I said, hey, these are getting a bit, hey, Matty Ice, well, enjoy some ice up north, buddy, you know what, I mean, hey, well, the end, so now the NFC South is just gonna is now just looking a lot more strange with Matty Ice gone. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Now we also got some other we also got some other things that also will will be getting into like Devontae Adams getting the largest contract in and, and why for a wide receiver in NFL history with 141 million dollars for like a oh, four to five dang. year deal. Does he does he deserve it? We're about to yes. find out. Yeah, we're about to find out. Hall of Fame. He's, a, he's supposed to be a Hall of Fame wide receiver. Um, um, Titans replaced Julio Jones of a Robert Woods trade I did see. So that should be an interesting trade all around. Now, 
And so uh, Randy Gregory going to Denver. That pass rush is also weak. Did I forget to mention that Khalil Mack is also in the and that AFC West is just a complete jab and juggernaut just waiting to happen. Like that's an that's literally a Pro Bowl division all around. Who do you think comes out next year? Jeez, that's very hard to say. You know what? Buccaneers. I'm going all in on the LA Chargers to win the AFC West. Ooh. I'm Justin Herbert. Ooh, Raiders. Raiders. Hey, Raiders. You know what? They got Chandler Jones. I forgot to mention I that. Got the Rams. You know what? Oh, and hey, the Bengals finally care about Joe Joe Shiesty. Thank you very much. Very, very much for protecting the quarterback, Lyle Collins. Oh, yeah. You know what? I just realized they love LSU players, don't they? Because Lyle Collins actually went to LSU. NHL. I will go on to the NHL. You know NHL a bit too. You're Florida Panthers, my Pittsburgh Penguins. Actually, you're Florida Panthers. I love the Bruins. Uh, the Bruins. Uh, are you actually that much of a hockey fan? Let's just put that on the quick note. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yes. Well, your Bruins actually got got in. I mean, let's, let's pull out some N NHL mm -hmm. trades real quick. I know this is. I know we're down to the near timer, but I am gonna yeah, keep. Oh uh, yeah, we're we're good. We're supposed to be good. Uh, twenty twenty one, twenty two, two, and it's a trade tracker. Just gonna be, give me a few seconds. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Andre Fleury, the old time Hall of Fame goaltender, no. got traded from Chicago no. to the Minnesota Wild for a second round pick. Oh, uh, he's goodness. a. I'm wearing his Penguins hat because I heard that Fleury got traded. So it's a. It's a. Uh, because he was a former Penguin, and I actually, I actually loved the guy when he when he played for us. We got. Um, the one of the biggest trades we had was um. Let's see here. What's that big trade that I'm trying to look oh, look for? Oh, it, it it was it was a trade. It was a really good trade. Um, um. Let's see here. Uh, no. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry now, but the Leafs, the Leafs that yeah. traded for defenseman Mark Wadano and for Colin Blackwell from the Seattle Kraken for a second. For two seconds and a third round pick, oh Mark Rodano returning from his return to his hometown in Toronto. Oh we goodness. we even got even a massive trade. We're talking about for Robert Hag, a, a Buffalo Sabre in exchange. No, 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 that no, that's not a big trade. No, no, no. This is the Panthers trade. I'm talking about Claude Giroux has been traded. Oh. One thousand games for the Philadelphia Flyers. Claude Giroux. Hey. Nice to see, hey man, enjoy being traded to an actual contender instead of Philadelphia also. I mean, yeah, but uh, here's what you traded for the starting, here, yeah, but he's a, only a one-time all-star, and this is what you traded for him. A, um, let's just put it down this, a, a, um, let's see here, you traded away, um, a, a, um, a polarizing prospect, a first-round pick, and, and a, uh, the first round picks in 2024 or 2025 and a third round pick in 2023. So you traded that full resident prospect a first and a third for a 35 year old player in Philadelphia. I mean, if it can work out for you, that's great and all, but I say that's a little bit overpriced to be honest with you. Hampus Lindholm. Now, this is actually a pretty big trade on its own for this, for some reason. Uh, for uh, defenseman John Moore and Yuho Vakanen and three NHL draft picks. Lindholm traded to the Bruins by the Anaheim Ducks. We got that this was a big trade on its own because Lindholm was, was also signed to an eight-year deal, $58 million. Let's talk about some baseball. Baseball? Oh, man. I actually don't want to talk about baseball actually too much because I saw something that upset me. Carlos Correa signed a three-year deal with the Minnesota Twins for $105.5 million. Goes, that's a lot of money. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, and my producers have let me know there's one mi minute. You know what? Let's, let's that's try cool. to stretch it a little bit because I'm going to make it to where I try to give you good info. And I found the biggest trade of the – one of the biggest trades of the NHL. Last off in the NHL, we got Brandon Hagel. Trey, Tampa Bay acquired Brandon Hagel, a young guy from the Chicago Blackhawks for a fourth round, round pick, a four, fourth round pick of 2024, 2022. No, 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 no. This is what the landing received. Now, the Blackhawks got an exchange was two fourths and two conditional first round picks. Oh, big. I and we also got some NBA news. We, the big NBA news. We got the... Uh, we got LeBron James almost closing on on all points in the in uh, as a Hall of Famer. 
and he's also, the goat. He's the goat. Well, no, it's Michael Jordan. He's always the goat. He's always the goat. <laughs> now, and I will actually. My friends have always told me to do this. I'm gonna shout out to MMG, known as Papa Meeks, for winning two ten thousand K tournaments and some dunks. You know what? And that's all I'm gonna say. I and I'll see you. And I'll see you when Indy. Uh, no, not Indy. When Baker Mayfield gets traded in the next week. And I'll put it all in mentions. Make sure you like and subscribe so I can do more of these videos. And let's go, Indy!